Hi, it's Olivia, and today I'll be doing the reading habits tag. I've seen quite a few people do this tag, but I was specifically tagged by Tori from her channel at That Cozy Book Nook. I love her channel, I love her videos. You should really check her out. I'll link her in the description or on the screen. Also, if you're wondering, I am in my pajamas. It's it's cold and I just didn't feel like putting on a normal shirt. So anyway, let's get on with the tag. Number one is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? That's easy, that's just gonna be my bed, especially since I read a lot at nighttime. I'm and I, I'm like nocturnal, I don't go to bed until very late, I'm trying to work on that, but yeah, I'll just be reading really late in my bed or something. Number two is bookmark or a random piece of paper. I would normally say bookmark, but then again, um, the book that I'm reading right now contradicts that. I'm reading Passing by Noah Larson, and I have a receipt from the car wash, so random piece of paper for this. Number three is can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? Um, if it's a, a book that I am just loving, I'm not going to put a certain chapter or page because I just can't. I'm just going to keep reading until I'm satisfied. But maybe if it's a slower book and I'm having difficulty getting through it, I'll put, I'll say, okay, after this chapter, I'll stop for now. Number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? I know a lot of people like to pair reading with tea and coffee. I personally don't really drink or eat anything while I'm reading. If anything, it's water. And I've actually never had coffee before in my life. So if I did have a drink, it'd probably be like hot chocolate because I'm also not a tea drinker. Number five is multitasking music or TV while reading. No TV, no, nope. If I'm watching a show or a movie, I have to be fully, like my attention has to be all on it. I can't do both. But music, I will listen to music, just not anything with words. It has to be like orchestral or a soundtrack or something. I can't be listening to Beyonce while reading The Name of the Wind, so. Number six, one book at a time or several at once. I would prefer to do one book at a time because I, I think I read much quicker like that, but at the moment I'm reading like three or four things, so I guess both. Number seven, reading at home or everywhere. I read mostly at home, but sometimes I'll read at other places. I've gotten in the habit of bringing a book with me just about everywhere. Number eight, reading out loud or silently in your head. Definitely in my head, unless it's a really difficult text or something maybe assigned for class, then I'll read out loud. Number nine, do you read ahead or even skip pages? I like this question because I cannot skip, I can't skip anything in a book. If I even accidentally pass over one sentence, I might be able to tell myself, mm, I'm sure I'm good without it, but in, no. no matter, even if I make it like a whole page afterwards, if I feel like I've missed one word, I have to go back and reread it. I just, I can't do that. Number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new. Um, lately I've told you guys how I like to, you know, make my books feel well loved. But I think breaking the spine is my limit. I don't, I don't see the point in that. Why would you break the spine? Wait, who breaks the spine? I honestly don't. Does it mean... I guess I just don't know much about breaking the spine, but I don't do that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Number 11, do you write in your books? Yes. Yes, I do. Number 12 is, who do you tag? I tag anyone that reads, <laughs> which is going to be like anyone who's watching this. But that was today's tag, and I'm hoping to do this on the Tuesdays that I upload, like Tag Tuesday, because it'll be a good way to catch up with the things I've been tagged in, and they're always fun to do. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.